Now let's talk about the Wabasto air conditioning system that we've installed in the 41 Valor. The first step to operating your air conditioning system is to assure yourself of the fact that you have a constant flow of seawater to the cooling system of the air conditioner. The sea valve that's located in the center aft bilge needs to be open. The hose that runs from the sea valve connects to a strainer. That strainer needs to be clear of debris, seaweed, any kind of uh, debris that's picked up at sea. That strainer supplies water to the actual pump that cools the air conditioning system. It's located in the port section of the center aft bilge. If you're running in areas of the bay or ocean that have a lot of seaweed apparent, you'll want to check this strainer frequently. After you've determined that there will be a flow of seawater to the air conditioning system, you'll want to turn on the breaker on the panel in the cabin that's labeled air conditioning. Now you're ready to turn on the Wabasto control panel that's on the side of the galley cabinet. To energize the Wabasto control panel, you'll push the power button that's in the bottom left corner. That will give you the ambient temperature in the cabin when that's turned on. Once the control panel's powered up, you'll see a series of buttons that are inboard of the power button. You can lower or raise the temperature in the cabin by selecting the plus or minus buttons. You can control your fan. There are three selections plus automatic and your mode, so you can use the reverse cycle heat if it should be a cold day. I strongly suggest reviewing your Webasto owner's manual that's included in your owner's packet to get full instructions on all the options and features of this system.